Hey GearFrax friends, I've recently posted a review of the Casio LK100 key lighting keyboard and that stirred up quite a lot of interest. One thing I mentioned in that review was that it was interesting that the LK100 features a MIDI in and out, so it seemed like the logical next step was to get a good quality synthesizer, in this case the Korg MicroStation, and pump out some of the more complex patterns from this one into the older, simpler LK100 and see how it copes. Let's listen to some arpeggios. And here you'll see the keys synchronizing with what I play through MIDI. In the drum settings it can get a little bit strange because Korg drum maps are slightly different to Casio drum maps which are more in the traditional general MIDI format. Let's listen to one of those. But there are still some interesting patterns to be found, like this one. And here's a really strange one to finish. So what I'm trying to show you here is that the LK100 is more versatile than what it seems in the beginning. Obviously the microstation from Korg is far more advanced, but it is pulling out some interesting things from the LK100, and that is just scratching the surface. So it goes to show that if you buy an LK100 for the purpose of learning, don't necessarily think that you're going to be moving on very quickly because there are some more options in it that are worth exploring. As I've said many times, it has the old Casio sound map in it that's been around for a long time, but lots of those sounds are pretty good. Here's a quick list right here. So once you've gone through the lessons, gone through the demo songs and the exercises, it's well worth connecting something up by MIDI and seeing exactly what this thing can do. Here's some links to some other things that might interest you. Thanks for liking, commenting, or subscribing. Don't be shy about leaving those comments because I do try to reply to every single comment that comes my way. So thanks again for watching Gear Facts. See you next time.